trying to capitalize on unprecedented support in the polls, Jack Layton is back in Quebec for the fourth time since the debate, appearing on a number of French TV and radio shows. Last week, pollsters suggested the NDP will pick up one extra seat in the province. Now, some experts predict he could win many more. Quebec has a history of... Uh of voting in waves for, for parties that aren't likely. University professor Richard Nimogene says a lot of what we're seeing has to do with perception. Here you have Mr. Layton who uh, portrays himself as a doer, as someone who fights for the average person. Contrast that with the perception Michael Ignatieff is battling with, the one framed by Conservative Party advertisements for years. He didn't come back for you. Mr. Ignatieff has been framed by the opposition as someone who uh, is just visiting or in it for himself and doesn't really care about Canadians or Canada. A new ECOS iPolitics.ca survey of 3,000 Canadians actually puts the NDP in front of the Liberal Party in terms of national support. It even suggests these numbers would give the party 100 seats in the House of Commons. Other polls put the NDP and the Liberals at a statistical tie. Michael Ignatieff isn't commenting on either scenario, instead taking aim at both his opponents in Vancouver. I'm fighting to win the way Liberals have always won, by saying, come on into the centre. Canadians don't want a government of the left. They don't want a government of the right. Stephen Harper, appearing somewhat bemused at possible vote splitting on the left, continues to hammer his pitch for a majority. Mr. Ignatieff and Mr. Layton believe that in another minority parliament, they can work with each other and with the Bloc Québécois to replace us, even if they lose the election. Of course, it's, it's not quite as obvious who's supposed to be working for whom in this little arrangement. What will really matter on May 2nd is who can get out the vote. You can expect a lot of busy people on the phones and on the roads making sure supporters actually make it to the ballot box. In Ottawa, Jennifer Madigan, A News.